going to be featured in a motorcycling documentary called Women in the Front Seat on Amazon. So you guys can all see that. Check it out. She's watching everything. She just skydiving. She's it all. She's it all. Okay, guys, keep it going. Make it really loud for Tamale Sam. Before me, oh my God! You got to see Diane Keaton perform stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Something I never thought I'd see. Uh, it was pretty exciting. Neff didn't even hear my fucking joke. That's cool. Fuck you, Neff. She doesn't even hear it. She probably, she's too young to even know who Diane Keaton is. Your tie is too fat to even be Diane Keaton. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Galentine's uh, comedy show. I want to share something very special with you. I just found out earlier today, and I told uh, Brennan earlier, but uh, you guys are the third people to find out. So I'm really nervous about this, so I'm just going to share with you. Um, you guys, everybody get your drinks. Everyone drinking? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to celebrate together. You guys, I just found out that I am expecting. Oh! oh. Strong. Oh. Relax. I'm not gonna keep it, you guys. Chill out. Oh my god. You're so scared. He's still, he's drunk. I have until 14 weeks. Uh, I know when the cutoff is, alright? I know, it's cool. I have, this is my, uh, my fourth one. Uh, <laughs> I should also say it's a rescue dog. Uh, I really should leave with that. <laughs> Like, oh, I don't have booze to drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. Um, it is a wrestling dog. I, uh, a fourth one is joining my pack. I'm very excited about it. I am very in, very into my dogs. Like, I love them so much. Do we have any uh, dog, uh, dog moms and dads in the audience today? Uh, God, I love them. I love them. Uh, you guys call your dogs your fur babies? Yeah. You don't have to be bashful about that. I call my dogs my fur babies too, it's awesome. They are, they're basically like my children. Um, I neglect them, I leave them in cages, <laughs> hot cars, constantly. Um, it's very cool. It's like, you guys bitch about being parents, I'm like, how hard can it be? Not at all, you know? Throw some kibble at them every once in a while, they're good to go, all right? It's great, I love it. Being a mom is awesome. <laughs> Uh, I love it. I call my fur babies. I get a little pushback sometimes. I did get some pushback from a friend of mine recently. She said that I, she was Tamale. You shouldn't call your dogs your fur babies because it's disrespectful to those of us who have given birth. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, why don't you tell me about your skin children? <laughs> And maybe I can grow as a human, right? It's 2023, I can change. Right, right? It's cool. She's like, well, here's the thing, is that uh, you, know, you don't face the same societal pressures as people who have given birth do. For example, you don't face the societal pressure to breastfeed your rescues. And I was like, cool. That's true. <laughs> I do it because I love them. <laughs> You guys, my nipples are so sore. All six, both rows, all the way down, just very <laughs> chapped. Uh, Mike's cracking up. Although, like, Fraggle Jesus is, uh, he was coming out, he was like, doo, 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 doo. Down to Fraggle Rock. <laughs> so, I love it. It made me giggle so hard. I was like, it was so great. Ugh, yeah. It's good stuff, guys. It's good stuff. I am, I am, if you couldn't tell by the fact that I have four rescues, I am queer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I am super gay. And uh, it's like, I always get this question, and I wish it, it's always a dude. I wish it wasn't, but it's literally always a dude. And they always ask me that question. We have any more, do we have any queers in the, in the house? Hey. Nice. Okay, so you might get this. It's always a dude, I always get asked the question. They're like, oh, you're in a relationship. Okay, which one of you is the woman and which one of you is the... 
funny one, and it's just... <laughs> I'm just tired of it, you know, like, it's really... It's, I'm sick of it! I'm just tired, I'm sick and tired of it! Oh, uh, man, it's just, it's just really, really, it's just really rough. Uh, I do have a lot of straight guy friends, though, of course. <laughs> you guys are familiar with vultures, right? Alright, same thing, same thing. Just circling, just waiting for a bad breakup and a lonely night. You know how it goes. You know, like, oh, I'm all out of, I'm all out of kefir. I need to drown my sorrows in something. <laughs> you know? Um, it's awesome though, my straight guy friends, um, we have a lot of candid conversations about, um, we, you know, they talk about like their relationships and, and the women they date, like what those women want and need, and, uh, and I tell them. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, here's, here's some hot tips. But they've also brought a lot of information to the table too, like, um, like they tell me uh, a lot of times what's worked for them, right? So like one of the things that's worked for them is they're like, you know, if you, if you are very kind to a woman, um, not initially, of course, <laughs> that never works, right guys? All right, no. Uh, if you're kind to them, it, it works, but um, if, you, if you ask them questions like, can I smell your seat? <laughs> Give them compliments, like you could be a hoe. <laughs> Things like that. <laughs> tends to work. And I was like, that's really cool and really interesting to me, right? So I was like, I'll just kind of put that in a little a little noggin. And I was like, you know, I could use some feedback from you. So like, I'm a gay lady, so like sometimes we wear strap-ons. And <laughs> sometimes, you know, and it's, it's, it's anyone's guess on where we're going to put them. I mean, <laughs> we've got thigh harnesses, we've got forehead suction cups. <laughs> Shit gets bananas after 10 p.m. on a Tuesday in my house going, okay? It gets crazy. We're all hopped up on kefir. You never know what could happen. All those, all those uh, probiotics just starting to Oh, man. Um, it's, it's, wild. It's, great. it's wild. It's a wild time. So I was like, hey, you know, like, you, you, you know, like, are an owner of maybe an Italian dick, and I just... <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, uh, I'm just like, what? What do gals like? What's something that they have done for you that you're like, oh, that's really hot when they do that thing? I was like, oh, I don't know, just like, what do you think? And so they, uh, a, a common thing, weirdly, a common thing is they love it when this is gonna get a little graphic. So do we have any Mormons in the house? <laughs> Stick around, you're gonna learn a lot. Uh, <laughs> So the thing that they say is that I've, I've heard a few times that they really like it when a girl is filleting them, that means giving them a blowjob, and uh, and then like chokes, right? Like, <coughs> and is like, oh my god, it's so big. I, this starts in youth, like when they're babies, and you're like, how big are you? You're so big, right? I think it just burns on in there, and so they love that. They, they said they really enjoy when a gal's like, <sighs> you know, and if you can manage to, you know, like whip up some tears, you know, a little bit of tear ash, just a little, just a little something, you know? I was like, really? They're like, yeah, it's really hot. It's like super, it's super hot. So like, I started implementing cock showmanship <laughs> into my sexual adventures, so. But like it's all tongue in cheek, literally, and, <laughs> and it's so fun because uh, you know like I'll be you know with a partner and like we'll go find a dildo on the side of a car and pop it off and people use them to burn the dents out of vehicles. If you don't know that helpful trick, get on TikTok immediately. Um, <laughs> and all of a sudden uh, I was like, all right, I'm gonna try this on. So uh, I'll be filleting her and I'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so big! <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, okay, here, hold on one second. Hold on, I got this. Hold on one second.
it's fun stuff. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of kink, um, I'm very competitive, right? Like, I love, do you guys play board games? I'm looking at this, I'm like, oh, yeah, this fucking crowd plays board games. <laughs> well, also, I mean, they are, they win. That's what I'm saying. So I love board games, I love Scrabble, personally, I'm a big Scrabble fan, love it. I play with my mom sometimes, and I had to learn the hard way, because uh, my lessons never come easy, right? Just like me. And uh, <laughs> I love to win at Scrabble, so um, I actually got, I was playing with my mom, and I was like, all right, now here's the deal. The board was all set up, and I was like, all right. <sighs> I could potentially win this game, but in order to do so, I'm gonna to have to introduce my mother to some new words, and she's not going to like it. I know. I'm really competitive, you guys. I'm really competitive, and I was like, all right, okay, mom, all right. Uh, she had the lead for a bit, but then I had Blumkin. <laughs> yeah. And I was like putting it on the board, right? Like, boom, can. She's like, that's not a word. And I went, oh, yes, it is. Google it. <laughs> so she took her phone out, and she did. And then, very, very sad, let me know that, okay, fine, it's a word. <laughs> okay, so you can, it's fine, you can count that one. All right, all right. And then we continued on, and yiffing also came up, <laughs> which is furry porn, for those of you who do not know what it is. Mormon kid in the back. <laughs> yiffy. And I was like, uh, yeah, yiffy, yiffy. Vertical. And she's like, that's, that's not a word. And I go, yes it is. <laughs> and she just looked at me and was like, oh no. I said, Google it. So she did. Yeah, I got that, I got that one too. <laughs> it was awesome. And then finally, uh, I was like, at the end, it was neck and neck. And then I was like, yeah, goonie. Gooning is a word. It's uh, the feeling of, uh, of like, um, uh, after a, a, a prolonged edge play, right? It's like, it's like, like the, the good feeling of gooning after a prolonged edge play. And uh, my mom was like, I'm just gonna take your word for it. Um, it's probably a word, and fine, you win, you win. And I was like, are you sure you don't wanna Google it? So, uh, in the last six weeks, my mom's phone has been unusable. <laughs> the number of ads that have come up on that device are unacceptable. <laughs> it's so much fun, you guys. <laughs> it's been really fun. Oh my god. Uh, I was cracking up because uh, Scarlett was talking about having the cops called on her during sex with a lady, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Low five. Okay, friend. <laughs> Nicely done, nicely done. Uh, I actually really enjoy, when uh, I'm enjoying a ladies' company in my household, I like to present them with a variety of options, right? Straight news, you don't, you're not like locked into whatever you got, right? If it's like too big for uh, most ladies, <laughs> whatever, you know? You know, uh, there's, you can just have a drawer of things. I have casters on mine, because I like to be able to pull heavy things out from my room. <laughs> I open it up, I like to present the different options like I'm giving the options of a fine wine, right? Just like, you know, I just take a little camera rag out, put it over my arm, I'm like, <laughs> Would the lady prefer a 2015 Lilo? Ooh. Mayhaps the gal prefers a 2019 Rabbit. <laughs> I do it just like that, by the way. I, do it I roll my R and everything. It's awesome. <laughs> and then finally, of course, I've got to go big guns, right? Because like, not everybody likes the same stuff, so then I'll just pull out, you know, like... <sighs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank God I work out, you guys. <laughs> I got some really strong arms. I was like, or would you prefer the challenge of a 2022 bad dragon? No. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you guys don't know what that is, uh, you should Google it. 